we've got the fire going. Ooh. <laughs> so what are we watching? What are we watching? Dog's journey. We watched it before. It's a very sad movie. Oh really? Yeah. Does he die? Oh, oh yeah, I've watched, dies. I've watched this one. Oh, yeah, yeah and then CJ. Ethan dies and CJ is who he needs to... You, you know, we're not going to spoil it for you guys. But yeah. It's a very good movie. Good morning! So today is today is a Thursday and it's gonna it's our last day. No, is it last day? No, tomorrow we'll be going home. Um, so today we're going to do some um, we're going to visit some historical um, area in Mont Albion. So before Mont Albion, that's what we know, before this is actually a town. Um, a mining town and there's lots of history in here which is a little bit creepy but the town now it's kind of like no more it's kind of it's only um, left as a ruins that you know so today we're going to visit um, um, kids cemetery um, kids cemetery that are poisoned so they were poisoned before a long time ago by lead so there's lead in the water that they drank as a source of their drinking water and most of them died and we're going to visit um, dog cemetery and we can even go visit the ruins it could be ghosts she did have a look on her face the lady here when I asked her is there any ghosts in the area and she's um <laughs> uh, yeah uh, no, not really. <laughs> so I think there's a story there. There was a lot of mass genocide in this area of Aborigines too. But all the um, children that died, the grave out here of children is all just purely from lead poisoning. So you don't drink any water out here. It's contaminated with lead. We're gonna go and get some crab pots while they battle the wind. We're going to battle the wind on the kayaks and see how our crab pots fed after um, a night in the water. Oh, I can feel movement in there, so I think, I think we've definitely got something. Yes, we have. We've got one, two, whoa, we've got about seven. There's a lot in here. I think there might be over ten. Yeah, you've definitely got some. Not as much as mine, but put it in the back. Throw it in. Throw it in the back. Oh, in the front. You're going to do it in the front too. Don't even think about it. Don't even bite me. All right, let's go back. I will literally pull your balls off. So I reckon we got about 15 to 20 this time. Just saying that we got three. Oh. Oh my God, that's a lot, Daddy. You've got lots. Daddy said that's way more than 10. When he picked us up, he's like, we can, that's we can. more than 7. And I'm like, are you kidding? Whoa. That's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. I got the baby But ones. there is actually um, small one ones. So one. what we do is we're going to choose the small ones and then throw them back to the dam. So that next time when we get back here, we've got more right i got more. the baby ones and i got the big fat ones bye bye see you next time when you're big <laughs> that's our what's this for dinner again yeah. good catch and the adventure begins mama Love so we're going to check out the first the cemetery the children's cemetery here and the dog cemetery. I wonder why the dogs 
white dogs here are special that they've got their own symmetry. Wait, symmetry. That's where we're going, guys. If you can read that map, it's a bit tricky, but look, they're gates. That's a gate like I just opened there. I so we're going to be heading it. south to uh, Irvine Bank, or we can go north to Petford on this road we're taking. We want to go north, we want to find a gate on the left takes us to Mont Albion Cemetery, so we're going to check that out first. Seven hundred meters. So this one, Mangala loves. This is Mont Albion Pioneer Cemetery. So 1886, 1922, so total warriors here, 6 to 8, and 32 children under 10 years. So this, these people that are buried here are poisoned, poisoned by lead, you know, um, from the drinking water, because this town is a mining town before and because maybe they don't know much or they don't really have that much knowledge about you know how to keep things um you know like have a safety mining um that's what they are poisoned by lead so sad is it so we were gonna check it out feels creepy though <laughs> but yeah we'll check it out We've got cows here that has horns and looking at us. I hope they're inside the fence. Are they? Oh my god, no! I'm scared. They're looking at us. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> they're looking. <laughs> We're just passing through. They're big ones too. <laughs> so this is a cemetery guys. This is where all the kids what was it? All kids, isn't it? Um not all. There's six six to eight buried and thirty-two of them are kids. So half of these are kids. Yeah. Alright, let's see how they look. Yeah, all are poisoned by lead. All all poisoned by lead. It's not maintained anymore. Let's watch for snakes. 23 years old. It's in 19, what was it? I can't remember. 1889, he was buried. Who departed this life October 6, 1889. Rest in peace. Died 27th of my age, 10. 10 years, 6 months. Creepy place at night, hey. There's an old one, God, look at that. No, they're not interested. There's no plaque on this one. Could picture zombies coming out of here. Ooh. That's a horror, horror in me. In memory of George Caspar Mir, died February 4, 1900. Erected by his sorrowing widow and children. Oh, so he, that's a good. He must have been a miner. Mm, mm. See some of these. See the stakes. I bet they're. they're I bet they're graves. Mm. They're just all. Yeah, there's another one there. Not everyone's got a tomb, and there's another one just here. They'd be graves. Bridget Josephine, born in 1902, died in 1905, so she was only three years old. She's only two. Two girls, yeah. Two. 
daughters of Ursula, Agnes and Peter. Last yes. headmaster of Mount Albion State School. Yeah, I think the ones that are inside the fence are the graves. Mm. There's lots in there. There's got to be here. There's, if there's 60 odd, there's, yeah, it's like there's one, you know, one, two, three, four just here that are really unmarked. But there's probably more through here that just have been covered up and lost. They've kept the good ones here like that. But a lot have been lost, I would say, that are just... They've tried to keep them with putting stuff by putting the star pickets in, but I bet over the years, people have pulled things out. Hey? Yeah, 100 years. Look at when he was... He died in 1900, B. 1900, that's 121 years ago. Died in 14th. 4th of February, 1900. Very old. Mm. Can you please uh, you mind moving? Yeah. Please. We need to, we need to get to the dog graves. We're going there. Do you know where? How far? I can't get around it. You need to move. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, just just to the right. Just to don't stop there. Just to the right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Warning, unexploded ammunition may be found in this area. Do not handle any suspicious items. Report them to the nearest police. He said they're all bottles. Bottles? You got this dog grave. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Alright. Dog grave, all bottles, she said. Look for the bottles. What? Yeah, that's it. A dog. A dog? <laughs> it's a dog grave. A very special dog. It's a dog. Lady Jane, rest in peace. She was more than a love, more than a dog, a loved one, Lady Jane, R.I.P. It's a dog grave. Oh wait, are these oh, sorry, graves? Oh, don't know. Could be. Maybe. I wonder where's this one go, Daddy? Oh, What's on know. the map there? I Where's this one go? I thought this was the one we keep following to the ruins. That's what I thought. But I don't know. I don't know how far. We will leave the car. We will leave Alex there, and we'll. Go for a walk. We cannot take the car. It's too rough. The old smelter that's, you know, it's been century. A century old. Over a century old a smelter. There was um, instruction there. Drive, park, walk. Because you cannot really take the car in here. Uh, maybe a lot of this stuff here is from the old smelter. So this is the old smelter for the mine. See the wall there? That's a wall that you just walk through. Something over there. There's more little wall there, and there's a chimney over here. I go to that this is the old ruins here. But Just look out for snakes. You should let us go first, though, because... See the rocks? They are kind of... They're like bricks. Yeah, they're part yeah. of it. You know, these are bricks. So I wonder what that is. Which one? It's down there. It's Structure. I bet snakes live in it. Yeah, true. That could be snakes. And that's the top platform of the of it there.
Interesting. I don't know what this is, but not probably a good thing to be on top of. Why? Because, look, there's a tree growing out of it. Shall we that, get going? That water there, you can swim in that one. If oh, you if want. you really want it, it's probably full of lead. Yeah. I wouldn't want to swim anywhere here. Look at those graves we just went to. You want to be part of that? No. <laughs> Where are we going now? Let's go to Herbert and yeah, I think. Go. Oh, look! <laughs> <laughs> Casey's worst nightmare. A toad, a dead toad. <laughs> All right, Manga Lala, so let me run through the barbecue dinner we'll be having tonight. So, once again, we've got the what's it called? Red claw. Red claw. We're going to be cooking up red claw again. We had some last night. I don't know if you guys saw that, but. Um, so yeah, we're also going to be having, I guess, chopped up beef. Probably going to be cooked in a pan. This is Singapore. Nice. Um, and we're also going to be having some kebabs, which is also cooking down here. And some already cooked here. You ready to go? Yeah. Right, let's go. Let's go. So while we were doing that, Mummy was doing this. What a dinner, Mummy. Ooh, yeah. and look at that. You missed out on some fun, though. That was dinner. good fun. Boy, that's very bright, I must say. We've got our tails there, hey, for our... This is my Lala. Last dinner for the... Last dinner for our Mont Albion camp. What's <laughs> Nothing last night. No. Typical because, no, it's good now. because we're going home. That's why. Where's my Marlo? I don't think he's in there. A milk. Oh, yeah. Daddy, I can't get it. Hi, guys, again. Good morning. Um, today we are going to leave, but I have been begging my mother if we can leave tomorrow because this place is so beautiful. It goes like, I don't know why it's beautiful. So we will be cleaning up. We will be cleaning up for us to pack up. I don't want to leave because it's a really good place. Three nights, it's not really enough, but because of our work, commitments and stuff, we need to go home. If maybe we're not working and everything and kids doesn't go to school, we could actually leave as a campers for a while. Oh yeah, <laughs> we're comfortable enough to be able to do it, most definitely. Yeah, so Montel Beyond Station is really good, At really Urban good Bank. for Come, uh, really good for family yeah. so we will come back here next time have a good that's one guys that's for now Manga Lala and see you next time actually shout out to Wuhu family and shout out to team Guy Bugan there you guys and team Lumbo University I forgot sorry bye see you guys have a good one
See you next time. Yeah, that's the way we roll.